Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 18. I'm SoCal Thero and in this episode today we're going to be working on my personal vehicle that I uh, that I drive and enjoy every day. The uh, middle one there, the 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 9 MR. So I have two of these vehicles. There's one behind me here, a quick glimpse of it, that uh, I've already worked on and... I've uh, put together it's gonna be a little different though that one's kind of like a off-road race kind of version of it and this one I'm going to try to get it to mimic my actual car as much as I can uh, that I drive in real life um, just a couple of little updates here too before we get started as you can see the Ferrari 599 I said California but it's actually a 599 that's in my game oh, and I had a front window still on it we'll Pull that out is down here now and it's being torn apart um i took the uh ford gt40 the uh dlc for uh ford on this game and i brought it down as well and started stripping it down to nothing so i'll have this to work on as well and then over here, this is something I grabbed new and got lucky and found one in the junkyard it is a camaro I know it's hard to tell with all these cars torn down, but I um, kind of get the idea at least a little bit from the uh, body frame. But it's a uh, ZL1, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 2017 Chevy Camaro ZL1. Um, so this thing's going to be pretty badass when we're done with it. Well, when we're done with all of these vehicles, for that matter. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on the Evo. Um, as you see, I started putting the engine bay together already, intake's done, uh, battery's done, uh, brake setup is done. Yeah, it's done over there too. Wasn't sure if ABS was done too. Uh, cooling is done there, as well as the uh, interior. So I have, like I said, there's two of these that I own, so I should have all of the parts to put this together and not have to go within the tablet. So it's going to kind of be like the R32... Um, Skyline video that I did where I pretty much had everything we didn't have to worry too much about the tablet but um, this will probably be the last vehicle at least for a little while that I'll be able to do this with because everything else that I own I only own one version of it so like I only own one Camaro and only one um, of the Ferrari and whatnot so the rest of them will probably have to go into the tablet and bounce back and forth on buying parts but uh as you can see we already started getting the engine put together here we're gonna oh i'm gonna do that I meant to do that there we go i'm gonna start getting this all put together as well see uh undercarriage i do have an oil filter i should have like i said oh don't want that i should have all of the um performance parts too that you can get for this thing so there won't be any needing of checking just to make sure if it comes or doesn't come with it so should be pretty good with that and of course with this run of uh vehicles that i've been working on i'm starting to get a little i mean i'm not really poor but you could tell my my funds have been dropping pretty good the uh last few episodes again because i've been working on a lot of vehicles and then not working on any cars that i plan on flipping it's just mostly uh, stuff that I've been working on to get into my garage and add to my collection. So, if you want, let me know in the comments below. I was thinking about this the other day, and I wasn't sure if that interests anybody or not. But let me know if you'd like to see me do a complete teardown and build up of a vehicle just to flip it. I mean, I don't know how much fun that'll be because I won't personalize it too much to my own personal tastes and wants and needs for a uh, vehicle, but it would be something different, I guess you could say. Oh, get the exhaust on here too while we're under here. I'm just kind of tackling this one side right now just to get it done and out of the way. I kind of want to get back to the motor though because I'm going to be like like usual I'm going to have to bounce back and forth between the motor and under the car here but I want to get the first wheel on here because of course it's my typical wheels that I buy for this game <laughs> whoops try to start pattern at there there we go 
I kind of wanted to see how they fit, because I went with a little bit of a wider tire. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Perfect. All right. So that should fill up the wheel well pretty good. Um, I got lucky with the sidewall, too. It looks a little small, but it looks like, well, it looks small from the top, but from around the entire wheel well, I'm sure that'll be just fine so there's no rubbing. Or there might be slight rubbing. I have to do some fender rolling if this was, if it was something we could do in here. Whoops. Nope, not that piston. I still have a lot of pistons left over from the uh, other builds. Oh, when I start doing some car flips, at least I won't have to buy those when the time comes. Because when I am um, going back to those car flips, when I do those, I don't do all the performance parts like what I'm doing here. It's just whatever I have or whatever you can buy just at the regular. Yep. The last time I did the intake manifold, yeah, I missed the fuel rails underneath and I was losing my mind trying to figure out where they were. So, we're going to do this first. They are hard to see. There we go. Go ahead and get these cam gears. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I don't think there's performance ones. We're okay. I had to wait a second for that one. I was like, uh, I don't remember if there were performance or non-performance ones here. Um, little drawback that kind of sucks because it would make more power if it had it was, um, they don't have like the, it, it uses the i4 turbo from the game. So they don't have like an upgraded one in the shop, which kind of sucks. And same goes with the uh, exhaust manifold as well. But that's all good, I guess. This way, um, people that use this model don't have to download a DLC or anything like that to get it to work right. So I can understand the reasoning behind it. Uh, I don't think I need anything else on this side as far as the belt is concerned. Yep. We do have the throttle. We'll get that put in right now. And let's go ahead and get this cam gear in. And we'll get this timing chain in. And then this other cam gear. This is going to go, uh, I can already tell this is going to go pretty quick. So I do apologize if it's a shorter episode than what most people want to see. Because uh, I'm cutting out everything from start, like the teardown and then also the uh, having all of the parts in, on hand already is going to probably make this go pretty quickly. <laughs> And, I mean, another thing, though, too, to remember, it is, it is a four-cylinder engine, so that that's another reason why it's going so quickly. I don't have to do so many parts so many times. Figured I might as well get those put on, too, while I'm looking at them before I have to put the cover on. And that's it. The top end of the car, is, or, or the motor rather, is pretty much done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lift the car back up in the air again and start working underneath it here so we can get the motor done. And then I also got to hook up the intercooler now that I think about it. Because yeah, these kind of kind of got me. They There's two of them and they kind of sit off to the, like behind the radiator so it's hard for, the, for me to see them. go It'd be really cool if um and i mean this is like really stretching the game so i know there's no way anybody could do this or the game would ever come out with it but it'd be pretty cool if you could build an actual 4g 63 turbocharged engine uh in the game be kind of fun to do well then again it it'd probably be only fun for mitsubishi enthusiasts which I mean, it'll be fun for me, but it might not be fun for the guy that likes doing muscle cars only and whatnot. So, 
It kind of limits the base of who would want it, I guess you can say. So, I know I said that I'm not going to have to tab out for parts, more than likely for this car. However, there is some stuff that I'll still have to get, and that's probably going to be just body paneling. I I think I bought some of it already for this car like there was some that I looked at and was like yeah that's what's what's on my actual car or the closest thing to what's actually is on my car like for example this car that's the only piece of the exhaust system over there that um, the downpipe right here and the let um, oh, no star pattern on that one but um the uh, Actual exit for the exhaust is like a uh, an engine cover or whatnot, so it looks like the part and it fits correctly. But that's um that's like a part I bought already because I have an aftermarket exhaust on my car. That in. I think the front end of the car after this drive shaft is pretty much done. Yeah, just got to work on the rear end now. Whoops. Get over here. We'll work on this side first. The only thing I hate about these setups is it's a little bit harder to work on when, um, at least this particular style of setup, when uh, you're trying to work on both sides at the same time and just kind of hopping over just to eliminate the need of having to back out of a screen. So, it's the only drawback to something like this. You gotta get every little part here, and there's a lot of them. In fact, this bushing was something I was missing earlier. Oh, looks like we're running out of bushings, so might have to buy bushings. Oh, there's another thing we might have to uh, hit up the tablet for. Get this side done first, though. I mean, I'll always need bushing, so it doesn't matter, but it's good to see how much I have left for this project. Ah, damn it. Messed up the star pattern again. There we go. get this on now so I can where I can see it rather there we go luckily a lot of these are using small rubber bushings it looks like so I seem to have a stockpile of those still so it's not gonna run out on those it's just these ones yeah I only have one left I'm gonna have one left over it looks like oh I might need some of those wheel hubs too try that star pattern this time there we go that time it worked and let's go ahead and check the status I think everything is good except the body of the vehicle which yeah it looks like all right go ahead and lower the car back down you know let's get some oil in the engine There we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and start it up, just kind of test it here. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm really liking the look of this. It looks definitely like, oh man. Um, it's kind of throwing me off here. The um, because this is the MR version, the RS and the MR version come with factory boost and oil temp and a uh, and a voltage gauge that are down here. Mine are up here because when you have this, 
they both share the same thing. It's very similar. All you have to do is take this plate off, take this off, and then you just take four screws out on the radio and the um, and the gauges, and you can swap them. So my gauges are up here. It's it's kind of throw, throwing me off a little bit just seeing that because... I haven't seen it since I bought my car. It was like one of the first things I changed when I uh, started working on it. Uh, it's definitely looking the part of the real deal. So we're going to go ahead and get out of it here again. And let's go ahead and start buying the parts. I think if I just put in nine, it should come up. Yeah, there we go. So we'll keep that for now. As you can see, there is a lot of parts for this thing. But go ahead and put the parts on that I know I bought. Like I bought the JDM MR headlights represent mine I bought that front bumper but now that I'm looking at it I don't want it because that's an Evo 8 front bumper uh, yeah I should have looked this little no like nose snorkel thing here that's the um that's what's on an Evo 8 Evo 9 looks like this where it's just kind of mounted to the real mesh I just saw this lower lip and it had my eye already this looks more like a sea west front bumper so not gonna go with that and then that's obviously like a rally one so we're not gonna go with that either so we'll have to roll with the stock one just so it looks the part that's fine though hood i don't have a hood okay there's the first part i gotta buy uh i just have a factory hood so i'm just gonna buy a factory hood there we go Front window. I seem to not have a front window too. What the hell? I thought I bought most of this stuff. Oh, that's rear window. Where is window back? Window front too. All right. Well, we'll try this. It's just a square, so it doesn't help. Uh, yeah, that's the one with the snorkel. I don't need that. I need the non snorkel front windshield. Oh, right here. Just missed it. There we go. And we'll get the door put on. Get both doors put on. Uh, no glass. No glass. No mirror. Okay. And then put this fender on. That might actually be the wrong door. Let me take the door off here and put it back on because I don't know. I guess there's only one door. Okay. It was throwing me off because there's like two different side skirts. There's one for like a rally car and then there's one for um, a uh, normal, just not like an off-road version of the thing. I wish it came with tinted windows. That's a little bit of a letdown. I mean, mine are tinted, but oh well. can only do so much. And, oh, that's right. I didn't buy any mirrors. Go ahead and buy the mirrors. That one. And where's the other mirror? That is. And I'm pretty sure I bought the tail lights already. I know I just clicked in there and saw them. No, I guess I didn't. All right. Back window. I didn't buy that. Trunk, I didn't buy that. Rear bump. Jeez. Okay. Well, I didn't buy the whole rear end of the car. <laughs> Go ahead and, uh, work on the side then since I have this stuff there we go I wish you could paint individual pieces because on mine I have I mean I have the color color like color coded mirrors like they match my white but mine are painted black and same with my wing too so I don't have any tail lights um <clears throat> Let's see, that's the Evo 9. That looks like an Evo 9 MR factory one. That's an Evo 7. And that looks like a JDM one. I think that's a JDM Evo 8, and that's actually the JDM Evo 9. I have the 8, so I'm going to just get that one. And then, let's see... The rear bumper, it looks like there's not much of a difference. I have the the uh, JDM rear bumper that has like the rear diffuser on it, but I don't think they have that in here, so we'll just have to live with what we have. 
Uh, trunk wise, it looks like we got badging and no badging. Mine has some of the badging. I have the Lancer part de badged off of my trunk, but the Evolution MR is still there. Um, and then the wing, that's going to be something else. I just have a factory wing that's uh, painted black instead. Well, actually, it's not even painted. I shouldn't say that. It's um, The paint has been taken off of it. It's a uh, carbon fiber wing. Because underneath the Evo 8 wing is actually all carbon fiber. So I sold my Evo 9 wing and bought an Evo 8 wing and then took all the paint off of it. We'll get the rear window. I have just a factory one with the wiper blade back there. I don't have any delete or anything like that. We'll put the factory one in there. Yep, there we go. And then here's that exhaust I was talking about. Um, is that it? Oh, no, that's the factory exhaust. I don't have a factory exhaust. Uh, that's the one I want. There we go. All right. Then let's go ahead and get the plate on. I thought I bought two plates. No, I only bought one because you only need one. Okay, cool. Um, I have a front plate on mine, although I don't like it. It doesn't look as clean, but it's California, and it's just one less reason to give cops to pull me over. Oh, it looks like everything's done on it. It's completely put together. We're going to go ahead and move the car into the paint shop and uh, take a look here and see. Yeah, I just, I wish you could paint individual parts. Like if you took it, like if I took the wing and just painted it instead. Maybe you can. You know, we never try this. We might as well. If I hang on to this part. Nope, it's locked. I wonder why that's locked. That's a, oh damn. Reminds me of when my car was, when I didn't have the wing on my car. <laughs> it actually looks kind of sleek too i wonder why that's a thing like it's there but it's locked i have to look into that so my car is completely white <laughs> so this will be rather easy um it's not a matte it's not a pearl it's not a chameleon it's just a metallic white so it doesn't get much easier than that perfect all right, now, we gotta move the Ford GT before we can do this. Cause I already know what the one makes power-wise. I'm sure this is the exact same. But on the dyno, here's the off-road version one that I have. As you can see, it has the entire like rally setup that goes with it. I went with a different wheel on this one, so it looks more like a uh, OZ rally wheel. And then, um, what is on the badging back here? I, oh, that's the hood pin, or the trunk pin. Oh, and then the plate, Tommy Mackin Edition Evo 9. Not a real thing, but hey, he's a legend with rally cars and the Evos. So, I had to put it there. We're going to park that there. Go ahead and move my car into, whoops, not there. Meant to put mine on the dyno, although that'll look cool seeing both of them side by side like that. Alright, let's move this to the dyno. There we go. Close up our paint shop. And close up the dyno room. And we're going to go ahead and dyno this thing. Uh, let's see here. So, factory engine power is 279 horsepower. That's not accurate to the real thing, but again, it's a mod, so they did as best they could. The real thing is 286. Uh, factory horsepower. Um, I'm gonna see how well it does right now. Definitely gonna make more power than my actual one, I'm sure. Yep, there it is. 369 horsepower. Now, mine right now is um, in measured off engine power, too, not to the wheels. To the wheels, I'm at. 303 horsepower, but measured by engine power, I think it's like 320 something. I want to say is what I dynoed at when I uh, had my car dynoed. Ah, let's go ahead and close that. Let's take a look at it again here. Keep on looking at them. Oh man. 
Oh, oh man, this is so cool to see. It is so cool to see my actual like bar in this game now. Go ahead and close the door there. And that does not look like a white in this game. At least on my screen, it looks more like a silver. But I mean, that's as best as we're gonna be able to get it. Actually, I didn't, shouldn't have got out of the car. We're gonna go test drive this one. That's for sure. It's not gonna be our fastest car, but it'll be pretty quick. Let's take it on a run down the speed track here just to see how it does. All right, let's get it going. Oh, cool. The tack actually works too. Oh, and the gate. Or, yeah, the miles per hour works too. That's nice. Oh, there is something that I forgot now that I'm driving this thing. We'll see if I tap it out or not. Nice. 246 kilometers an hour alrighty that's not too bad that's definitely not too bad and I was not expecting the gauges to work inside so to see that just made my day even more um, <laughs> just because like <laughs> I, I, you're kind of limited with this you're just not sure how much like time and effort people put into the mod or what they know or how they can do it so to be able to see little things like that just makes it just that much better. But um, there is something I forgot to change on this car. And I changed it on the red one already. So I know it's set up. But uh, the MR comes in a six-speed transmission. Which with the... Uh, oh, there we go. With the uh, upgraded gearbox, I should be able to change that. Yeah. Uh, we'll put the six-speed in there. We won't do any, like tuning to it or anything but um yeah well actually you know what since this is a rally one and um this is gonna suck to say but we're gonna make this a five speed because most people that race these things what they do is they yank out the six speed transmission and they um they put the traditional evo 9 gsr and rs uh five speed transmission in the mrs so that's i mean it just goes to show that people prefer the five speed to the six speed and the six speed is known to die on their track so it's one of the reasons why i don't track my car as much as i would like to i'm afraid i'm going to blow up the gearbox or the transmission and i'm going to have to get a new one which isn't cheap to say the least but uh thanks again guys for watching this episode of car mechanic simulator 18 let me know in the comments below what you think um, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this series or any other series and you'd like to stay up to date on what's going on with uh, new video content, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it as it helps me out as well. Um, if you guys are already subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this episode, another way to let me know that you enjoy this series or that you enjoyed this episode is to hit that like button down below. But uh, with all that being said, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 18. Take care.